Hello guys, hope you are guys having a wonderful day. Thanks for visiting my channel and make sure you click that subscribe button if you like what you see. As usual, the content on this channel is based on questions, comments, or requests that I get from you guys, the viewers. Alrighty, so the question for today is, how do I read the contents of a JSON file and store the values in a dictionary? Okay, all right, so we're gonna have um, a couple of, uh, of lines of code here, right? So the first thing, uh, First thing first, first, if we're gonna start reading from a JSON file, we need to have the JSON model installed. So you have to do the pip install JSON. In this particular case, I believe I already have it. So there you go. So if you can do that, that means uh, you have instead uh, JSON installed. If not, you can do pip install JSON and that should do it for you. Also, you have you can notice here that I'm using a, a virtual environment that I created on my previous uh, tutorial. So. I'm isolating all my stuff. So the first thing that we have to do is, I guess we have to create a, a JSON file. We're gonna call it config.json. And uh, here we're gonna just store uh, simple values, right? It's gonna be a pretty easy file. So let's do it like that. Four values, property one, property two, property three, with its corresponding values. We save that. Now we should have this config uh, JSON file right here. Now let's create a Python script. And this is going to be JSON read JSON reader, let's call it like that. All right, so now we have it right here. So, okay, so the first thing that we have to do is import our uh, packages that we're gonna use in this in this tutorial. So the first thing that we have to do is we're gonna import JSON and I'm also going to import OS because I'm gonna, uh, I guess, uh, execute some OS commands, right? So the first thing that I wanna do is um, I want my program to know where this config file is gonna be. So uh, it's made a comment here, path to config the JSON file. And I'm gonna uh, create this variable. Uh, it's gonna be constant, I guess. So I'm, I'm just using capital letters. So CWE, uh, that it stands for um, current working directory. So we're gonna execute that command. And then we are going to create another variable, which is going to tell us where my file is located. So. I'm gonna construct a string here. And uh, the first value is going to be the current working directory and then the name of my file. You can see config.json, it's this name right here. So if you use a different name, make sure that I will clear update this. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is uh, dictionary uh, holding config.json values or properties or whatever it is, right? So we're gonna define here another constant and we're gonna call it config properties. Something simple like that. We're gonna initialize it to an empty directory. Now we know where our file is. We have initialized our variable. So now we need to start reading the contents of this file. So in order to do that, we have to create some code. Uh, but first, common first, open config.json parse values and store them in dictionary. Okay, so we're gonna use a try and catch block right here. And here I'm going to use the compound statement wit. And I'm going to pass the config file path as a data file. Oops, as a data file. And then I'm going to JSON load those values that are in this file into this config property file. So like in programming, there is a lot of ways to do things, right? So in this particular case, I'm using wit. Some people will, will ask, why don't you use a file reader? Or you open a file, then you close it and things like that. Of course you can use that. It's up to you how you wanna code it, right? I like to use wit because it, it doesn't matter what happens inside this code right here, inside this execution, inside the wit, this file will always be closed. If you're using the, the, I guess, the file, you open a file, then you write to it, uh, then you close it, you have, to, you have to make sure that you close it, right? This will do it for you. So that's why I like to use those kind of compound statements, right? So, and then we're gonna use accept, and I guess we're gonna throw an IO error has E, uh, and then we're gonna print the error if something goes wrong. And also we're gonna print a message just informing us, right? Like 
IO error, um, unable to open config.json. Terminating execution. And then we exit with a code that it's not zero because zero is usually successful. We are just going to put there one, right? So uh, let's see what we have done. We import our packages, then we define where our config.json file is located. We initialize our properties, our dictionary, to an empty dictionary. We read from this file, we load, we use the JSON load so that we can parse this JSON file and load that data into config properties. Then we throw an error if we can't open this or something wrong goes, goes here. All right, so now the last thing that we can do is let's print that particular property file and let's see if it works. So here the terminal, file s, I can see here my config.json and my JSON reader. So if I execute Python, there you go. You can see that we have the values printed coming from here and are the exact same values here. So that means that if I use config.properties and then pass here property, property two, I should get value two printed. And there it is, right? So that's it. That's how you read content from a JSON file and sort the values in a dictionary. Thanks for visiting and see you guys next time.